Hi, it's Dee from Simply Dee Beauty. In today's video, I want to do a comparison between two tinted moisturizers by Laura Mercier. If you've seen my videos in the past, you've seen that I have tried and used this um, tinted moisturizer uh, quite a few times. I really do love it. It's included in my August favorites because I love it so, so much. But I recently got a Laura Mercier as well, the Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. So I thought, why do I do a side-by-side -side comparison? I'll do one side, I'll do one, and then the other side, I'll do the other. And that way I see if there's any difference. So I know this is a tinted moisturizer, oil-free. It's all They're both natural skin perfectors, but this one's oil-free and it has SPF 20, broad spectrum SPF 20, and this one is SPF 30, so it's better sunscreen better uh, sun protection now with tinted moisturizers it isn't really full coverage and i'm not going to do a full day wear test because i know these are very light for very light makeup i like to use this like when i go to the beach or it's just a day that i'm going to spend in the sun outside and i don't want to go up glam with makeup those that's why i like tinted moisturizers and i am going to go on a trip real soon so i wanted to know which of the two i should take and if this is my favorite would this outperform it or would it just go second place so i want to try that out let's start my skin is is prepped it has skincare and all that so it's ready to go i'm gonna first do the tinted moisturizer oil free which i know i already love i'm gonna do it on my right side and then i'll use the new one on my left side this they're both on the same shade 1co cameo so hopefully the shades are not gonna differ just because the formula is a little bit different so let's start with the oil free one so i'm gonna pick up my BK Beauty foundation brush number 101 which is like my favorite brush at the moment and I am going to I should have done it with my finger first let me just apply it with my finger first and then buffer out and if I need more then I'll just pick up more this one doesn't have any scent I'll have to check the other one but this one doesn't have any okay so here is applied a half of my face I don't know if you can see it but it gives me a beautiful glow. I already know that's why I love this moisturizer because it gives me a beautiful glow and it's oil free, which is more even surprising. And I do have dry skin. Of course, the skincare you use, the canvas is important too. You have to have good skincare. But other, but even then, compared to other tinted moisturizers and even other foundations, some foundations or moisturizers don't give me this this radiance. So I really, really like it so this is on half of my face the oil free one now i'm gonna go to the left i still have a little bit left over which I th actually i'm gonna pick it up and apply it in my neck area i don't want to waste any product so i'm gonna go down here in my neck just a little bit close to my ear and I'll apply it down here and i'm gonna swipe the brush just a little bit with a towel i mean it is the same basically the same product i'm just gonna swipe it just a little bit wipe it just a little bit now i'm gonna go right in with the the um the one with oil so maybe this is more radiant more oily um i don't know i hope not because i do like this amount of radiance a little bit more and i look oily so let's see how it comes out apply again with my finger it's really cold i have some redness today a little bit spots here but it's all right it is light, light coverage, so. This one doesn't have any scent either. Not that I don't mind scent, but I know some of you might be sensitive to it or just don't like it. So I always bring that out, bring that up. Okay, I'm back. My camera, my angle might be a little bit off because I had to change my battery, but here I am. So I applied the both tinted moisturizers are on as as i recap this is the one with the oil free one and this is the newer one i honestly close when you look at it like that in, in camera or from far away or even up close i don't see a difference they're both they're both giving me the same coverage and they're both giving me the same radiance you could still see my little spots but it's expected it's not a full coverage foundation and that I could cover after with concealer but it feels really light really refreshed they both feel the same I feel no difference they both look the same 
I think it's lovely. So now I have the way I'm, I see it is, of course, I have to wait now after a few hours to see how it performs. But the way I see it is that now I have a backup for my favorite tinted moisturizer or one of my favorite tinted moisturizers, which is cool. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back for my final thoughts. See you later. So yes, I'm back. Here is my final look. Very happy with both versions of the tinted moisturizer. I honestly cannot tell the difference between one side and the other. I think they both look the same. So I'm really happy for that. Now that I have a backup of one of my favorite tinted moisturizers. So that's good. Let me know in the comments below if you got to try this moisturizer, either version. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it or not. If you haven't tried it but are interested, I am going to leave the links of both products in the description box below as well as all the other products I've used today and that I have on my face. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!